Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. If you're new here, we post these videos every Sunday to share some meal ideas with you and to hopefully give you a little inspiration for the coming week. All of our delicious dinners are always budget friendly, so make sure you subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future dinner ideas. Here's what we had for dinner this week. For meal number one, we had crockpot pulled pork tacos. We just put some pork carnita meat into our crock pot along with a few tablespoons of butter. Then we added in about a tablespoon of flour. Next came some Mexican hot style tomato sauce and a tablespoon of sriracha. And for the spices, we used some onion powder, seasoned salt, cumin, salt and pepper, minced garlic, and some carne gazada seasoning. We cooked this on high for about four to five hours until it was tender and pulled apart easily. The boys had theirs on flour tortillas with some lettuce, sour cream, shredded cheese, and tomatoes. With some white rice and corn on the side. I turned mine into a bowl with the rice, corn, and pork. Then I topped it off with some shredded cheese, chopped onion, tomatoes, jalapenos, sour cream, and lettuce. I also added some crushed up tortilla chips on top, and this was so delicious. Next up, we had barbecue chicken buns with homemade potato wedges and baked beets. And I'll leave the dough recipe down in the description box. We also made some homemade barbecue sauce we don't really have a recipe for this because Adam just throws it together, but you can use any barbecue sauce you like. Ours is made with some garlic powder, onion powder, Worcestershire brown sugar, ketchup, mustard, apple cider vinegar, molasses, and honey. For our baked beans, which aren't actually baked, but we still call them that, we start with a can of pork and beans. To that, we add some brown sugar onion powder and garlic powder, some salt and pepper, yellow mustard, ketchup, and sriracha. And we also add in some sliced American cheese.
We just cooked and shredded some chicken breasts and we're gonna add our barbecue sauce to that. We rolled out our dough into four to five inch circles and filled them with our barbecue chicken. When they were all balled up, we brushed them with an egg wash and topped them with some sesame seeds and baked them at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. I cut some potatoes into wedges and tossed them in some olive oil and seasoned salt, then put them in the air fryer at 360 until they were golden brown and cooked through. This meal was so, so good, you guys. That bread turns out so soft, and I love homemade potato wedges. For meal number three, we had a meatball ravioli bake with crusty bread and a salad. Adam made some bread in the Dutch oven. I have no idea what recipe he used, but Jackie of All Things Domestic has a good video on how to make some if you want to check it out. I'll link her video down below. For the meatballs, we seasoned a pound of ground beef with some salt and pepper. Then we added in one egg, some yellow mustard, some Worcestershire sauce, breadcrumbs, parsley, onion powder, and minced garlic. I don't have a lot of written recipes for you guys this week. These were just some meals that we threw together quickly and didn't stop to measure but they're easy to adjust to your taste however you like them.
We scooped our meatballs onto a parchment lined baking sheet and baked them until they were cooked through. Next, we coated the bottom of our baking dish with some of our marinara sauce. I do have that recipe down below. We just layered some frozen cheese ravioli with the sauce, meatballs, and mozzarella cheese. Then we topped it off with some Parmesan cheese and baked it at 350 covered with foil until the ravioli was cooked through and everything was melty and bubbly. This turned out so delicious with our salad and bread, definitely a comfort food dinner. And last but not least, we had London broil with baked potatoes and baked beans. We cut a big London broil into smaller pieces, then we seasoned them generously with salt and pepper. As we do with our steaks, we just seared these in a bunch of butter. Butter makes everything better. Then I threw some baked potatoes in the air fryer. This is my favorite way to do them because the skin gets really crispy. And then we made the same beans, only with shredded cheese because I was out of American. This was an amazing dinner and definitely my favorite of the week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. We make what's for dinner videos every Sunday.